Hello everybody, Assassin here back with another Halo Infinite weekly update video for week number 118, which is also considered season 6.1, week number 3. So there's not a whole lot going on, but I'm going to go ahead and get you caught up on everything that changed. So as you see, we're still in the Spirit of Fire operation. I believe we have three more weeks or so in order to, uh, I guess, get to the next operation. But as you can see, I finished mine last week. I haven't been putting in a whole lot of hours because I have been putting a lot of time into Suicide Squad. But I still managed to complete this. I still managed to get both ultimates for week one and week two. And so now we're on week three. So speaking of the ultimate in week three, here's what you get. You basically get a coating, but you get this coating for every single one of your armor cores. So a total of nine in total. So in order to get this, you need to complete your 10 challenges, then move on to challenge number 11, which is getting a killing spree in PVP, which means that you need to kill five in a row without dying. So I find it easiest to do in modes like uh, Husky Raid or Super Fiesta, maybe even regular Fiesta. But you want to get things like the Rocket Launcher, things that kill multiple people at a time. And I think you'll be good there. That's for anyone who has problems getting those kills, especially five in a row. That's just my recommendation there. Now we're going to move on from there. We're going to go to uh, multiplayer. So here in multiplayer, as you can see, the featured mode of the week has changed. It finally changed. It's been firefight for such a long time. But now it is Big Team Battle. And the thing about Big Team Battle is they added five community maps into this. So they are finally showing some love to Big Team Battle. So if you want to check out those new maps, and they all look great. They all look amazing. I haven't played on them just yet, but I will be checking them out this week. I will let you know probably next week what I feel about those ones. But overall, they look really good. They look like they have really good flows to them. So I will be checking out that mode a majority of my playtime this week. Now on top of that, what changed is we now have uh, Team Snipers. It sucks. We got Team Snipers the week after we needed snipers to get our ultimate. I actually just did it with the no scope skewer. So it was pretty easy for me. One match, hopped in a Husky Raid, scared someone, and moved on from there. It took me like less than a minute to do that. Ugh, you had more problems actually getting a skewer or sniper rifle in that match. But... With that said, the other thing that changed is that Big Team Social has been removed. They did not replace it with another uh, Big Team or anything else. It has just been removed as of right now. It rotated out, so it's not like it's not coming back. But that's the changes here in multiplayer. Now with that out of the way, we're going to go to the last thing, which is the shop. So in the shop, we got a couple new bundles. I'll show those soon, but I'm going to start off with the daily because the daily is also new. So for 200 credits, you get this weapon charm, Ace of Spades. So that's a new one right there, but it costs you two bucks. Then from there, we got a bunch of repeat stuff. So I'm not going to go over those, going over to the new stuff, which are these two right here. We're going to start with this one, 13 pieces, 1800 credits. So you get a helmet, flat face helmet, along with the helmet attachment. You get some shoulders and shoulders are cross core, so you can use them on any core. The other shoulder, the opposite shoulder, which would be the left shoulder, it has what looks like a squarish blade. Kind of looks off because it's like square like that. You get the chest piece. And this is for your Mark IV. Not too bad of looking. You get your utility attachment. You get your wrist attachment. You get your cross core armor coating. So you get this for all nine of your cores and your cross core weapon coating for all nine of your weapons or weapon models. Then on top of that, you also get the nameplate emblem the bundle set. So all those pieces for 1800 credits. Not in my liking. I don't think I really care for most of it. So therefore, passing on that. Saving my money. Saving my credits. The next up, we have 10 pieces for 2000 credits. So less pieces cost more let's see what we get in here so we get the helmet a lot better of looking helmet right here i like that one more so already one piece that i'd like but i probably wouldn't use you got an attachment for that so you get your vr headset right there then on top of that you get the knee pads cool looking knee pads i like those for your mark four some shoulders again cross core and you get the matching on the opposite side then you get the chest attachment, which has one of those square blades, but this time on your chest, not on the shoulder. So that's just eh, okay to me. 
Then you get the utility on this one. You get a weapon charm. Which has the scorpion and... Uh, I don't know, Spartan, a scarecrow. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be right there. Let's see, does it say it? Nope, doesn't even say. But I guess it's uh, Halo Wars inspired. So I guess those of you who played uh, Halo Wars probably knows what that is. Then you get nine weapon coatings. You get the same exact coating for every single one of your weapons. And then on top of that, you get nine armor coatings because you get this coating for every single one of your armor cores. That's kind of like a tiger camo to it. Desert camo. I would say this one looks a bit better. But again, two uh, lackluster bundles with not very much to offer me at least. So let me know in the comments below if these are either one or ones that you're actually picking up. Or are you picking up that uh, that keychain here at the end, uh, the weapon charm. But that's going to be it for this video. Nothing free this week. I know we do have more things that are going to be free, more coding. So if you like uh, that, how they did the Black History Month coding, they're actually going to be doing something like that for a couple other upcoming celebrations like Mental Health Awareness, Women's History Month, and Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, just to name a few. Now, I got these images from Delta who posted them on Twitter. So if you want to see what has been added into the background of Halo Infinite, you know, what codings might be coming out, and I say might be coming out because they add things that still haven't released. Even from Season 1, there are some codings and everything else they've added in that have never even released. So, of course, any of these can, I guess, just disappear. We don't know if they're going to be shop items or anything like that, but go ahead and follow Delta on Twitter if you want to stay up to date and in the know. I'll go ahead and leave a link to his Twitter account in the description of this video. But that's going to be it for this one, and until next time, Assassinator out.